<laughs> oh man, it's coming. It's coming. I told y'all it's coming. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Oh, man. We have so much epic news in one amazing video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And let's get right to it. Bro, big gaming announcement. And I'm going to tell you why this is big. Xbox just announced officially that they're working to embed gaming capabilities directly into TVs, streaming sticks, and more with the help of cloud gaming. Though Microsoft insists that consoles remains its flagship experience, they're leaving the console race. The last part where it says they insist cons um, consoles remain a flagship experience. Case in point, the Nintendo 3DS. When the Switch came out, Nintendo insisted that the Switch is not here to replace the 3DS, just a third pillar. That's marketing PR, so investors don't panic. So it's a smooth transition. The writing's on the wall, bro. Dudes, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share you, I'm gonna tell you why this is happening, coming straight from Microsoft's mouth. Dudes think I be joking and trolling. Part of me is trolling, but part of me believe this is gonna happen before the generation is over. I'm gonna be playing Halo on my PS5. So, I'm telling you, there's gonna be an Xbox app on my PS5, and I'm gonna be able to play Halo from it. Just watch. All right, so, this original, original, this news originally broke for me. I saw it first at IGN. Multiple sources are already talking about it, but Microsoft and Xbox have unified themselves in a cross company strategy that is primed to shed the need for a gaming box at all, the article says. It continues. Microsoft recognizes its success lies not in chasing the same thing everyone else is already doing very, very well. You know what this sounds like? <laughs> this sounds like Nintendo right now. This sounds like um, what Nintendo executives were saying when they were getting their behinds kicked by. Sony's kicking everybody out the, the um, home console business. Nintendo, they came out and said, we do not do well in competing. They said, we're chasing the blue ocean. We're going a different route, i.e. we can't sell consoles, home consoles at the pace of Sony. Now, Xbox is saying the same thing. They pretty, this is what they said, that they recognize that their success lies in chasing, it, not in chasing the same thing that everyone else is already doing very well. They're pretty much saying, we can't do it as good as they're doing it. And the last big quote from the article, Microsoft is gearing up to turn gaming into a new connective tissue that stands to be very profitable and very powerful in its reach and accessibility. And so, Xbox, you know when you, on my smart TV, I turn it on, and it just, Disney Plus is already there. Um, Netflix is already there. Hulu, every, all my apps are there when I turn on my TV. There's gonna be an Xbox app right there. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. You no longer need an Xbox console to play Xbox games. It's happening. And Phil Spencer did hint to some kind of stick that they, you just plug in like Roku or Fire Stick. There's going to be a $50 Game Pass stick. <laughs> it's happening, bro. Or it could even be free included with your Game Pass and Xbox just give them out so that they could um, do subscriptions. Their focus now is the subscription model. It is what it is, bro. But we got some lit news. Oh, we got some lit news. We got to keep going. I'm going to say this till the end. 
black controller, bro. Black PS5. All right. Now, Summer Game Fest was a thing. I was um, out. I couldn't live stream it. But a couple... <laughs> I really didn't even miss much. There's only three big announcements, and I'm going to share the announcements. The first one is Death Stranding Director's Cut coming to the PlayStation 5. The game will be updated, improved for the PlayStation 5 console, and it seems like they're teasing more content, teasing um, some kind of Metal Gear integration crossover. Right here, you have the Death Stranding dude, and he's interacting with a box. What other game is that? It's a Kojima game. So there could be some kind of Metal Gear crossover. We'll have to wait and see. But Death Stranding Director's Cut was announced at Summer's game, Summer Games Fest. The next big announcement was Overwatch 2 Sombra and Baptiste redesigned teaser. They were teased. Two characters were um, teased. Um, they were just showing off the new redesign for Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2, one of my most anticipated next-gen games. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait for this game to release on the PS5. And the last big announcement for Summer Game Fest today was Elden Ring. We got to see first official gameplay. And I have to admit, this game was never really on my radar. And so the game, the game looked cool. It didn't look bad. But um, it never was on my radar, so... I, this is a this is the type of game that I will get depending on what other games are launching around it. It won't be at the top tier of my list. Um, if there's nothing else to play, I might pick it up. But Elden Ring and Jeff Keighley was hyped. He was like, stay tuned for our last big announcement. Because I guess a lot of dudes are hyped and looking forward to this game. Just not me. Never really been on my radar, bro. That's all I can say. Bro. Next news item. Guess what came in the mail for your boy? My black PS5 controller. I ordered both, the red and black one. It came, the black one came a day early. And so shout out to PlayStation Direct. I got the black one tomorrow. The red one will be coming in, but tonight. We're about to be lit tonight. You know what's going down tonight? Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart officially launches midnight midnight go to sleep right after you watch this video so you could get back up at midnight and hang out with your boy i will be doing a midnight live stream launch stream for ratchet and clank rift apart right here on my channel i'll be unboxing also unboxing this controller and i'll be playing with this controller first on ratchet and clank today when my red one comes in tomorrow We'll be unboxing that one too, but it's gonna be lit, gonna be lit tonight, A. Hey, and when I preloaded the game, Sony, they've been doing this. Nintendo's so far behind the time. There's a countdown that lets you know exactly when the game will be, will be available to play. When Nintendo, you preload the game and you're just guessing. There's been times when I got up at midnight expecting the game to launch, and it's like the next day at some random time. But on PlayStation, there's an actual counter that lets you know exactly when the game will be playable. And they've been doing that for a minute. Xbox does that too. So, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart tonight. One of my most anticipated games this year. And I get to play it in a matter of hours. Unboxing my black PS5 controller. I'm really looking forward to the red one more than the black one. But the black one I'm still hyped for. All right. That's it. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. Oh, wrong thing. Outro. We out of here, boy.